Uh, our day hasn't really been going according to the plan. Apparently we have no plan whatsoever of reaching our final destination ever today. Uh, earlier our car broke down and that took a, a couple of hours of our uh, driving time and now we spontaneously decided that oh, if we're driving uh, by the world famous Jog Falls, we obviously need to stop here. And Annika is happy with this decision. Wow. Oh. 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 And you said it's a little bit. <laughs> and this is the only lens that we have? No, we have it in the car. Yeah. Of course. Oh, look at the rainbow there. Annika, siellä on vesiputous. Annika, Annika, vesiputous. Joku, joku. Vinat and I have this thing, where we only ever end up visiting famous waterfalls in the peak of the summer. Good news. Mm -hmm. Bonyonya, I need its water. I know it's not the ideal time, but for someone who's never seen waterfalls before, it's pretty darn magnificent even this time of the year. I think she wants to go for a swim. Was it worth it? I think it was. From the waterfalls that I've seen, this definitely is the best. Even if it's not even monsoon. <laughs> yep. And I think it'd be sad to miss an iconic site while driving by just because it isn't necessarily the so-called right time to visit. If we keep waiting for the ideal timing, it might never come. We might miss our only chance and never get anything done. At least that's what Vinod tells me. Who knows if we'll be driving by Jog Falls ever again. And that too, during the monsoon. Anyways, the drive towards the beaches of Karnataka through the dense Sharavati forest was a magnificent one. As we left the hills behind, I could literally smell the sea. It was already quite dark as we reached this small village near the Karnataka Goa border. Goa might be off season now, but we really wanted to spend some time in these quaint villages of South Goa, which aren't frequented by travelers. Annika, will it give us a cottage tour? You guessed it right, we're in Goa, there's beer. <laughs> I'm also hoping like the tiling feels better for her not slipping yeah. that easily. Oh, I love the... wow. Annika got bored quickly. I can stay here and just like, wow, this is seriously so beautiful. There's the rainfall shower, if that's what you call it. Annika, do you like the bed? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, it's nice. I'm liking this. It looks super. And then for this hot, hot season, we have an AC there too. A little cupboard. And let's see the view. Wow. Annika, do you think you could be comfortable here? Oh, but I'm Hmm? This. This is our view straight from the door. 
and pretty much from the window too. And yeah, I'm not sure if like what is around here. We maybe will be making a little uh, day trip to Palalem. Uh, like I said, I love the place. It'll be nice to go there with Annika to refresh some memories, but I'm not sure, really sure what's here around in the Polem area. It doesn't seem like there are a lot of these like tourist options, but that's okay because the point of this whole vacation is just to chill, relax and enjoy this kind of life. We last visited Palolem in South Goa in 2017 and it's been one of our favorite destinations. I really loved our beach hut in Polem, but it wasn't the most practical location for us traveling with a small toddler and all. There was no road connectivity to our hut and we had to walk more than a kilometer to reach the road, all the while carrying this little baby. Uh, we are on our way to Palalem for a little morning excursion before we not goes has to go uh, run some errands today and then I'll be just chilling here at our resort with Annika all day long. I'm really hoping that I can also get some of my own work done because I have a deadline today so it's not gonna be completely chill but Fingers crossed, because seriously, this place is a heaven. South Goa is one of my favorite places in India. We have already been to like Palalem once before. I absolutely loved it, and Palalem is just stunning too. Ooh, hey, Panika. <laughs> But once on the road, it was a beautiful drive to the bustling tourist town of Palolem. We have now reached Palalem and are on our way to breakfast at this super nice place that we found the other day. It's this like vegan superfood type of cafe, really trendy, which is the kind of thing that I often miss uh, where we live. So I really want to take every advantage of being here and visit there as many times as we can. Well, that's, it seems that we are too early on the go. Vinod says that he doesn't think that it will even open at nine. Uh, as Google Map says. We'll see, we'll wait five minutes or so. Fingers crossed. I, I had already decided what I want for breakfast, so... Okay. Oh. Hello! Hi! Hi! Oh, we decided to have our breakfast 
at a different place but I'm thinking that I'm gonna come get my lunch uh, as a takeaway from here before we head back to the resort where we're staying but at least Annika got something good out of this little walk to this place she met a nice little doggy <laughs> So, we not was gracious enough to promise me that he'll handle Annika here while mommy goes out into the ocean to have a little swim. Maybe I will also be able to get Annika to be brave enough and join us in the water. Uh, but anyways, yeah, I really want to take a quick little swim before our breakfast. Uh, because this is probably the last time in a long time that I have the chance to do this. Let's go. I also leave my sunglasses here. Okay, let's go. Anika? Anika? Oh, the waves are huge this morning. I don't think that I should go too far into the... Oh god, it's so big. Yeah, I don't think I can go too far. I think I should take the camera back to Vinod. Anika, come. Anika, let's go. Anika. Anika, hi, Ti. No, no, Anika, uh, don't scare the dog here. Anika, you're scaring all the dogs, okay? <laughs> Anika, move, move. Hi. Yes. Yes. Anika. Kutta. Kutta. Yes. Mm. 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 
had a little bit of a spontaneous change to our plans yesterday while on our foray to Palolem. Uh, we realized that it's not the, like staying in Polem, even though it was so wonderful, it was not the like most practical uh, choice for our purposes and especially traveling with Anniva. So we decided to relocate to Palolem and oh my God, we are so happy to be back here again. Uh, for the next couple of days and now we are also finally at the mill having our breakfast I promised Vinod that tomorrow he will get a cheaper breakfast but I am very happy today to be here So here's my scrambled eggs and a toast Oh my god the toast looks amazing and then there's or Annika's. <laughs> I have to say I'm a little bit of envious for the nuts. Let's see who has it better. At least we have a smoothie also. Mm. So soft. Annika, are you fancy baby? X Benny. Yeah. Even mommy has never had X Benny. <laughs> 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 She's like a Pulp Fiction baby. <laughs> Aye. Anika. Anika. Oh. Mm. Nom, 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 nom.